Yeah. You know. I mean, he did, but the thing is, he did come for us. He came for us, like, way back in, what was that, the 70s with the house? Yeah, but, but as a candidate, nobody had ever been on the trail, trail yeah. yeah. I, I had, on the trail, yeah. yeah. No, he hadn't come for us. I never knew any him, of his background. I knew he had already came for us back then. But I told, just like I told Mike. story out. The, get, the, the LGBT yeah, got that let's, juice. Let's go, let's go back to what they, <laughs> what they were saying, what you guys were saying about white women that voted for Trump and why you would think they wouldn't vote for Hillary her being a woman and wanting to see a woman president. Because um, cause I kind of I kind of feel like women are just so catty. They don't want to see Hillary in the White House. Like, you know, yep. fuck this bitch. You know, who does she think she is? Why are we going to vote for her? We're just going to vote for Trump. And mm-hmm. they kind of have that feeling like this white guy is going to lead them to where they need to be at versus exactly. putting the, all the power with this white woman. And yeah, Robert. her, you know, when being emotional and stuff like that, like she's not gonna have the power to be able to lead us. When we want I, to go. I think vote for Trump. I think she just they just fell in line with with, with their husband. No, but a rope, no ropes, yeah. ropes uh, thing has a lot of truth because you yeah. remember, like I told y'all last time, who got all the women in high school? The dude who yep. had all the women and disrespected women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, yeah. what, what, yeah, what, yeah, what, what, exactly. what, you see what I'm saying? I posted with them, them ladies drooling over Trump. Yeah, exactly. Because look, if yeah. you, if you were chauvinist, yeah. it almost shows that you're an alpha male. Like, let's go back to uh, like to, uh, like way back in the day, like cavemen. It shows that you like virile, like you're an alpha male that you can protect us. Women like that stuff. They'll go talking around their homegirls mm-hmm. like, oh, he's such a dog, but then call you when they get by themselves. They close that dang thing. They like, no, Trump is a protector. Dude, like six three, broad shoulders, a white male. He looks presidential. He even said to Hillary that you don't look presidential. Like the psychology of thing, people find certain characteristics and, and things attractive or acceptable for different positions in their subconscious. Yeah. What I what I noticed about what I what, what I noticed about women, what I noticed about Go ahead, say it. Women, women Hillary lives, supporters <laughs> is that the women Hillary supporters were all in on Hillary. Like I mean, it was annoying all the way in. <laughs> it was, and so it though. felt like it, it felt like it felt like to me with Hillary and women, there wasn't ever a group in the middle that she could sway back to her. They either were all on board with her or they were all against her, Good and point. there were there was never a group in the middle that she could kind of influence either way. And it was, and, and that was kind of that's just like what I kind of saw. It was, it wasn't ever. A, let women? me kind of yeah. get them over to me, and I think that I think that some of that is what Lance said. Yep, they just kind of fell in line I with their husbands, now. and yeah. then I think some of that, and I think some of that goes to what you said too. Rope, but they were just like they were on some old. Nah, because you're right. You're, you're not the right. You're you're not going to be the woman. You're not going to be the one that's going to be the first woman president. Yeah, yeah. And I think that goes to what Ham was saying too about her as a candidate. That they were just like you're not going to be the one. These people were brainwashed too, though. On the low, I mean, it's actually kind of scary because I was I was thinking like, how does people in North Korea allow this person to control <laughs> them like that? Yeah. And then I'm seeing it like seriously, like humans can like David Koresh, uh, Jim Jones, like Trump is that type person because oh, they yeah. literally believe anything that he says, and he can say he's saying it and then say he didn't say it and they believe and that. they believe him. Yeah, but Lance, just like mm-hmm. what you said, like they fell in line with their shit. husbands, and compared to what Lau said. You know, you know, it seems like it was so two extreme groups, no in between, because it's like almost like Hillary supporters were like on some feminist, you know, you're the first woman. We don't need a man type deal. That's just the uh, that's just what kind mm-hmm. of came off to me. And if you have a traditional Republican woman who's like, no, the man is the head of the household. We're in the quote unquote Bible belt that they kind of like would push those in between women away, man, in my opinion, because they were like on some strong feminist that, stuff. They weren't even talking about her track that, record. They're just like women. I'm in with her. You know, she's going to be this. She, she, she. But we did the same thing with Barack, right? I know, but Barack, she ain't no Barack. No, she's not. She, <laughs> Barack. Yeah, no, but, think about, <laughs> think about, but think about this, though, Lance. Lance, think about this, though. Whenever he had the middle. You talked to a, whenever, you talked, whenever you talked to a staunch Hillary supporter, a staunch Hillary supporter, they never even acknowledged the, fuck, the stuff that she did do. And, and they would never even like own it. They so would they never like even. It would be like, oh, like they would. They would just. They would just be like, that shouldn't even be an issue. Like, why are we even talking about it? They would never even own it or even want to discuss it. So that let me know. I was like, all right, you're just you. Like Ham was saying, you're on you. You with this for some other stuff because you won't even. You won't even look at the fact. That, okay, she is not necessarily 
Yes, she had the political background to be a grade A candidate, but she did do some scum, some scummy she, shit. She was shady. I just didn't care yeah. about her emails. But she, right. but people yeah. were on some like it's they wouldn't even, type stuff. But they wouldn't even acknowledge that. They wouldn't even Wait, acknowledge no. that she did yeah, do man. some shady stuff. So, so y'all saying that the female Hillary Clinton supporters are equivalent to the Donald Trump supporters as far as turning a blind eye to all the shady stuff? Absolutely. It is. Yeah, absolutely. But that's what anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that's think about point, this yeah. from white America. We just had a black president, right? And so Hillary's supporters were like, it's our turn, our turn. They're like, no, the presidency is not a revolving door for every, you know, um, for every disenfranchised group to have a turn to, to be in power. That's not what this thing is going to turn into. I don't think any woman candidate had a chance right after Barack. Just like, what, what did you think when, uh, when, uh, who, when the first black person won American Idol, you'd be like, well, next season, there ain't no black person winning next season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they ain't gonna have that. So what you think the, the presidency? Cause they were like, it's our turn. You know, it's our turn for but how do you get a two, a two term black president and then go to, uh, a racist? Because you had a two term black person, <laughs> but it, that, but that exactly. the majority of people voted question. for him. But the majority of people voted I mean, for a black president twice. So how can? But, the, but no, but you got to look. But I mean, some of it is because I did. I've listened to some other stuff and I've heard some other good points. I think some of it is where the where the country was too at that point because you got to look at. We were right off of Bush. I mean, people wanted to change. McCain wasn't bringing no type of change. I mean that, okay, and, well, and well, also the start. What about 2012? That's what, that's the question I mean, mark. 2012 with Lance talking about. Yeah, yeah the first what time. About 2012? We understand, because the, the day, time. because the day, right? The first time. All right, 2008. Yeah, we all understand why he would have got elected in 2008. 2012. 2012. He, won 2000, he won off of the time period from the last four years. Because think about what he what think about what he accomplished during that time. We had spent all that time chasing our tails and fighting. What was it? Bill Laden and all that stuff, but then those first oh, four, he, killed, he was he timely because the Trump supporters are on that Mr. American Dom. stuff. He had that timely oh, so Bill Laden stuff right. and all that. He, like you always he have to look at, you always you always have to look at what they accomplished within those first four years. That gives them the platform. Yeah, that Bill Laden. No, and I'm gonna right. tell you what but happened. Yeah, that was, LGBT. That Bill Laden, that Bill Laden was riding. No, no. Bill Laden. He did ride that Bill Laden. Bill Laden and LGBT. Yeah, he got Bill Laden dropped the mic he on him. <laughs> hey, he had started putting together. He started putting together. It's the, the homosexual care agenda, man. Yeah. You know what I think it is, though. I think that no, the um, homosexual agenda. That. Potentially that. <laughs> That's what it was, but man. No, Everybody's gay. Republicans, Democrats, white, black, poor, rich, everybody gay. No, listen. He got I actually that. think that it got to the point where white America thought that even if they were racist, it had, that time it passed. Like, it's it just like we feel it, but it, the time is gone and it's not like it used to be. But now that they have a candidate who stokes it up, they're like, okay. They, so, they, he talking my language. So Barack made them lose hope in racism. <laughs> no, it's just like you know we just can't do it no more. It's just that time is gone, you know. But now no, you have I'll a candidate think, you know, stoking it up and saying, "No, I don't think it's that." You know what I think it is? I think, in all honesty, there's some people that truly grace the earth that are just phenomenal people, and they embody something that everybody can get behind. Yeah, I but, think President Obama point. was that person. He he's was just like that dude. He's like. Every, think about it, all these racist people. Let's just say Alabama. Mm-hmm. But on Saturday nights, their favorite b- person in the world is the whatever black athlete, insert five star athlete at Alabama running the football. Mm-hmm. You know, they could be, yep. they could hate black people. But when Bama play, that's their most favorite person in the world. And I think, like to your point, Obama is just like LeBron, Jordan. No matter if you hate him, you like, dude. But strategically, he, he it was, strategically, it was a homosexual agenda. That's a that's an obvious flip in, from the first to his second one. But it's not enough. It's not enough homosexuals getting by elected. Either. Man, you crazy. Everybody is. Man, that, why, why why haven't why haven't you thought that Donald Trump has not? Because you know, do oh let's just speculate. Do you think behind closed doors Donald Trump is pro homosexuals? He's not. He's no, but he's a, no, openly no. not. Yeah, he's he's pro money. He's yeah, pro he, money. he's pro money, and they have the yeah, money and the, the power. Money. He don't care. They have the money exactly. Right. And, and and I got in a debate with Mike because he was like, "No, I think they're going. He's going to do something once he get in and trick him." And I was like, "Nah, man," because you got all these congressmen, you got senators yep. that's gay, you got all the C- CEOs. Every I'm telling you that that homosexual agenda for for Barack to be like, "Look, I came in as a Christian candidate Amen. first. I offered people hope. Then that second, he was like, well, I know Christianity believes this, but love wins. Now I'm going to get y'all this. I'm going to take this to the Supreme Court. I'm going to do this. And I got Bin Laden. So he got a couple necks. 
But I'm telling you, man, that homosexual agenda was really what solidified that for him. I don't know, man, because I just don't think it's enough. That dude was on Time Magazine with that rainbow halo, man. But listen, <laughs> Trump has never been. You know how you know how that you know how that the, L, the LBGT community is like the Illuminati, man. Right, <laughs> and they are, man. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, hey, time out, pause. Bro, what you say? Hey, hey, we hey. don't know it. Bro, what you say, bro? Yeah, we, are, we, we don't know it. We, we don't know it. <laughs> But that seems like it though. No, I agree with it your point though. Like they, the LGBTQ community transcends everything. We were like, just talking about what race, platform that it was different from uh, the first political party. Yeah, I mean, literally, there's yeah, there's hey, someone. Yeah, while y'all, hey, while y'all sleeping, Mike Pence might be gay, man. He Pence, anybody that's extreme like that because he's a dude man. talking about conversion therapy. Conversion therapy? Yeah, he thinks that they should go through conversion therapy. Really? Like you could just shock the gay Because homophobia does have two sides of the coin. Is he like, you know, F all those gay people? Or like when back when June used to work in Express, it was a dude who was eventually, you know, homosexual. Every time I used to come in the store, he'd be like, damn, man, what's up with the bitches? I'd be like, man, it's Tuesday. I just want to know <laughs> right, like, how's my right. day going to do like. They try, they try so hard to fight it. They be anti-anti until they can't be anti no more. <laughs> like, hey, hell, like, hey, hell, 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 what you like? What you like? Was he like, oh boy, in that video that you posted? Where the hoes at? Man. <laughs> no, we don't get a sound bite on that. We can't do that. <laughs> and, we, and we run up on it too, fellas. The hoes is any group of women gathered together is the hoes. A bunch of geese is a gaggle, ain't it? Yeah. Not geese. It's a, it's a gaggle. <laughs> but, but, uh, oh, how do we get here? How do we get here? <laughs> no, we, we are, for the interest of time. No, at, I got the question. I got a question though. You I got a it? question for y'all. Laz, you want to do another it. one? I got a question because we write at an hour. You want to do? What? We could do another quick one. Yeah, because this actually could spawn off into this whole own thing. Okay, well let's uh, let's end this one and we'll do for the good of the pod on the next one. Yep. All right. Cool. Okay. And we out. Once again, you've been listening to the Firing Squad podcast. Obviously, you like what you heard because you made it to the end. Do us a favor and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Firing Squad Pod.